Hello, everyone. It is Thursday. Good to be with you. Hope you're doing well today. Well, we are looking forward to uh, this coming Lord's Day as we gather together. Uh, last night, we had a great service, and we uh, mentioned a lot of prayer requests. And so I hope and pray that uh, you were a part of that, and, and that you join with us in prayer. And, and uh, we hope and pray it was, uh, was, a, was a blessing. Well, uh, today, believe it or not, I got word from one of our missionaries, uh, the missionary to Ukraine. Uh, many of you remember uh, Brother Brother Klein. Well, he is going to be with us, Lord willing. It looks like the last service, the last Sunday of uh, April. And so looking forward to being with him and his family. But church, you get an opportunity to to, to actually get to talk with and meet the missionary that we've been praying so hard for, especially during that period of time of them having to get out of Ukraine and uh, they are safe, they're in the States. And so looking forward to meeting them. And I know that uh, I think it'll be exciting for our whole church. And so pray for the Klein family as they are here and trying to decide what they need to do, okay? But uh, put it on your calendar. Uh, the last Sunday of of, uh, of April, and so looking forward to, to meeting him and his family. All right, well, uh, let's get started with our devotion today, and a little bit different. I think we're going to spend some time here in 1 Samuel and look at King Saul, and uh, sadly enough, though I believe anyway, King Saul had such potential, yet he never lived up to that potential. And uh, so we're just uh, uh, in, a, in a segment here where God commands uh, uh, King Saul to uh, destroy the Amalekites. And uh, so that's where we're at. Uh, the battle has been fought and all of that. And, um, but unfortunately, uh, King Saul did not do what God uh, told him to do. And yet King Saul kept, uh, you know, you know, I did what you wanted me to do. He, he says, I've, I've, I've performed the commandment of the Lord. He, he tells uh, Samuel that. And um, yet all this time, he did not do what God says, yet he kept insisting that he did. Well, Samuel talks to him about, about, uh, sacrifice and and what does God want more obedience or sacrifice and of course uh, Samuel said to him God wants obedience and so but I'm going to read to you one verse and the Bible says in first Samuel chapter 15 and notice if you would with me in verse 24 and Saul said unto Samuel I have sinned for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Did you hear what he said? Here, here is the king, here is the leader. And he says, well, for the longest time, he, he kept denying it, that he did not do wrong. But he finally gets to the point here that he says, I did do wrong. But it wasn't his fault, but he said, it's because of the people. It's because I obeyed their voice, he says, because I feared the people. Can I, can I stop and say this to you today? I believe it is our duty as Christians to pray for our leaders. Uh, and um, you know how sad it is Apparently, in this particular situation, God expected King Saul to pay more attention to him and what he wanted instead of what the people wanted. And yet, King Saul said, the reason why I did not obey, the reason why I have sinned, is because I feared the people and I obeyed their voice. And I want to challenge us today and I want to encourage you today, would you pray for your leaders? from the President of the United States to uh, all those that, that make decisions for us locally, pray for the leaders that they would fear God, 
that they would not fear the people and obey their voice, but that they would fear God and obey his voice. That is what we need. We need leaders that fear the Lord and that obey his voice. And I tell you, our, our country is in, in such turmoil. And, but, you know, it's not a wonder. Boy, as, as so a lot of times, so goes the leadership, so will go the country. And so pray for our leaders. Pray constantly for them that they would fear the Lord. Well, I hope and pray today that, that you're on, on your knees before the Lord and that you pray regularly. And I want to remind you, pray for your leaders today. May the Lord bless you. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for a reminder. And Lord, uh, our leaders need your help. And so, Lord, I pray for uh, our president of the United States. Lord, I pray for, for, for him. I pray, Lord, for uh, even, even locally here in our, in our state house, our governor and, and uh, Lord, our mayor and, and all those that make decisions. Lord, I pray for them that they would uh, fear you more than people. That, Lord, they would do what you would have them to do. And Lord, bless America, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you today as you and I pray for our leaders. Bye.